Hey guys, how are you doing? Apple have released iOS 18.0.1 for compatible iPhone and iPad models. In the next four minutes, we are going to see the content of iOS 18.0.1 for both of your iPhone and iPads. And we will see about watchOS 11.0.1 contents, like what are the bug fixes uh, comes to your Apple Watch. And before that, iOS 18.1 is the one that we most of us waiting for and it is expected to come by 28th October as per the latest report by Mark Gurman of Bloomberg. Currently, iOS 18.1 is in beta 5 version and we are expecting by this week uh, the beta 6 which will also be the release candidate version could be released to the developers and public beta testers then by 28th October you know by the end of October we will see the official release of iOS 18.1 which will bring the Apple intelligence first set of features to both iPhone and iPads with more bug fixes and security fixes. In this iOS 18.0.1, Apple have fixed the touchscreen unresponsive issue on the latest iPhone 16 models. So if you have upgraded or recently got an iPhone 16, it is good to update to the 18.0.1. The camera freeze issues that some iPhone 16 users particularly reported have been fixed with this update, especially with the macro mode, some users have reported that issue and the problem has been addressed and fixed right now and the next one is the messages app crash issue and memory allocation issues also fixed with 18.0.1 which will result in better stability overall when you use your iPhone and iPad and this update also brings two important security fixes reported by the security researchers number one audio messages that you try to send in the messages app using the iMessage you know to another iPhone or iPad user the initial recording may not be happening for some users so that bug has been addressed and then the second when you try to use the voiceover feature to read any passwords that's stored in the passwords app that Apple have released with the iOS 18 you know it will be read aloud in the iPhone or iPad speaker so that important security bug also fixed with this iOS 18.0.1 and iPad OS 18.0.1 update. This is a minor update, but it contains some important bug fixes and security fixes, so you're good to update right away. And one more important thing is for iPad Pro M4 users that Apple have recently updated the iPad Pro lineup with M4 chipset. If you are using that, you know, Apple have initially released the 18 update and they have pulled it due to some users reported that the update has been bricking their device. So they had to visit the Apple service center to get it fixed. So that problem addressed and the 18.0.1 is now available to the latest iPad Pro M4 models as well. And the next important thing is Apple WatchOS 11.0.1. Some Series 9 model users have reported a sudden restart, so that problem has been fixed with the WatchOS 11.0.1. The music app force close problem has been fixed with this update as per the release notes and Apple Watch battery drain problem has been addressed in this update, so which is a very important one. And some Apple Watch users have reported the touch unresponsive issue. So that problem also addressed and you know, the watchOS 11.0.1 as a minor update, but again, similar to the iOS 18.0.1 have fixed some critical bugs that could prevent you from using the Apple Watch normally. So do the update right away on your iPhone, iPad and Apple Watch to receive these bug fixes. And as I said earlier, the 18.1 update is expected in a couple of weeks with more bug fixes, stability improvements and Apple intelligence initial set of features. So do share your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you for watching. For more, don't forget to subscribe. Have a wonderful day.